Well, at the Appalachian Antique Farm Show in Gray, Tennessee, one of the things that's happened is it's become a mecca for garden tractor collectors. Lots of garden tractors on display here, and one of them belongs to our friend Bobby Biddle from Newport, Virginia. And Bobby, this little tractor is kind of special to you. Yes, it is. My granddad is kind of a dealer, and he sold the tractor to my dad when I was just a little fella. And I remember the day he brought it to the house and made me so happy. And a neighbor thought he could hold more than the tractor would push. So they had a little tugging contest there, but the neighbor lost. So <laughs> Now this yeah. is an orange machine. Tell us the year and the make and the model. It's a 1959 Economy Power King. And it's got uh, optional 24 inch wheels in the back and uh, dual transmissions. And what did your dad use this little tractor for? We used it mostly for garden work or around the house, anything we needed to do. A lot of times we overloaded it. And you were just a few years old when this uh, came to your house. Did your dad uh, let you use it? Yes, he did. I was too short to reach a clutch pedal, so he made an extension on the clutch pedal so I could reach it, and I've been driving it ever since. Now this one belonged to your dad way back when, sold by your granddad to your family. Um, is it still in original condition? Have you worked on it? We have rebuilt the engine probably a couple times in it, and my dad has repainted it a time or two. And yeah, it's had a lot of use over the years. Speaking of the engine, tell us a little bit about the power in this tractor. It's a nine horsepower Briggs and Stratton. and, and uh, it doesn't sound like a lot, but the way they're geared slow, they have a lot of torque to them. So what are some of the features on this tractor? I know your dad modified it for you to operate it as a little kid, but uh, what are some of the features on this tractor that you think your dad really liked? Well, my dad also put uh, foot brakes on it, and that was handy because it was hard to uh, work the hydraulics, steer it, and put the brakes on with your hands all at the same time. So he put individual foot brakes on it. So Economy, Power King, were those pretty popular tractors down here in the South? No, actually I didn't see very many of them around anywhere. Um, my dad had the only one that I knew of. Like I said, my granddad had all kinds of them all the time. So when I would go to his house, I'd get brochures and get to look at the new models. That was always a highlight. And here at Gray, Tennessee, do you kind of like seeing all these garden tractors lined up? I love these garden tractors. <laughs> I love to work on them. I love to look at them and show them, tinker with them. Yeah, what is it about garden tractors that uh, makes it kind of a fever? Well, the garden tractors are pretty small. You can load them easy. It doesn't take so much space to store them. And just, I like the small things the little things in life. And really, it's pretty amazing when you start looking at the classic garden tractors, how many different brands there were out there. I had no idea there were so many brands till I started going to shows. You just never heard of them or never see them. So it's interesting to walk up on them. <laughs> and I know you've collected a variety of different garden tractors, but uh, the Economy Power Kings, those are pretty special to you. Those are my favorites, yes indeed. Uh, they're sort of partial to them. Yeah. So when you're on this tractor, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about your granddad? Yes, and it brings back old memories because we, we grew up together. Some people have dogs they grow up with. I grew up with that economy. And I used it practically every day. Yeah, yeah it's been good to you. It's been excellent to me. And they are tough because it's, uh, it's had a lifelong use. And I know you like to uh, do a little work on the, the tractors that you have. You like to get them looking like new, don't you? I do like to make them look pretty, and, and I like to uh, tear them down every nut and bolt and restore them, paint them always before I put them back together. I have to do this one, so I haven't started on it yet, but hopefully I can get that done so my dad can see it. Yeah, you got a little bit of work ahead of you. I do. A, there's a lot of work in restoring one of those when you tear it completely apart. 
You'll take every nut and bolt out? I do. Take every nut and bolt out and blast the parts. And I put primer on the inside of the castings and paint all the outside parts before I ever assemble it. Just imagine how much trouble that's keeping you out of all that work. That's right. <laughs> keeps me keeps me home and keeps me safe. And you you got to love preserving family history, family garden tractors like this. I do. I love it. I, uh, it it's just a, about a thing of the past. Well, Bobby, thanks for sharing a little bit of the story of your family, Economy Power King. Thank you, Brian. It's always good to see you. Bobby Biddle from Newport, Virginia. He's got classic tractor fever, and in his case, it's garden tractor fever. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. If you'd like to see more great garden tractors, be sure to check out these other features. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to keep those Classic Tractor stories rolling.